So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. Um, here I've opened up my scanned sketches and I've opened them in Illustrator. So on the left here, I have a toolbar and there's all different tools within my toolbar. And on the right is my layers. So here, if we click on this little arrow, we can see that the sketches are the first layer. So what I want to do so that I do not um, wreck my first layer, I actually want to create a new layer. So down here, I'm going to press this little plus bar and it creates a new layer. So there's my layer two. What I can do now is I can actually lock my first layer so that I cannot touch my sketches. So I will not distort these. The next thing I'm going to do is because this is a circular sketch to make sure that my circle is correct. I'm actually going to use this tool here. So this says the rectangle tool and I'm going to right click on it. And there we can see there's different types of tools. There's a polygon tool, a star tool, line segment, but I'm going to use my ellipse tool. So then I'm going to click in any area and then drag. So that's my small circle ellipse. Now I can go to the selection tool and I can click on the center and then I can move my ellipse. So now I've created that one there for the small one and I'm going to create another one as well. So I can go back to my ellipse tool, click and drag and make a bigger circle. And then I can adjust it by going back to my selection tool and then I can just use these cursors and stretch out these circles just to make it fit properly. What I'm going to do now, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to right click. I'm actually going to arrange it so we can see that smaller circle first. So I'm going to send to backwards. And now we can see these two circles. It's important to know as well that this is a different um, stroke and fill. So over this section here, there is a little white box that says fill and that means that this shape is filled with the color white same with the smaller circle as well and the stroke which is the outlined area is black what we can do is we can double click on these and we can change the color so i've changed that to blue whereas the center is white all right next i'm going to show you how to use the pen tool so up here, the third one is the pen tool. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just trace around the bottom of the sketch. We want to have it nice and neat so it looks like it matches these circles together. So it sits well. So I'm going to zoom in for you to show how close we might have to come. So um, we don't want to touch the path of the ellipse tool. So I'm going to actually start around here first. So it creates a new path and we want to create a closed path. But we can join it here. See how it says the word path? That's where we can join it. And then I can create my arc. Then I want to press the anchor point so that I can stop that arc and make my next anchor point. So I want to make it here and then I'm going to click and drag to create my arc. So I'm happy with that. Then I click back at the anchor point and then I click at a new point. So I'm going to click at this point, click and then drag. So I'm pretty happy with that. Then I click on the anchor and then I'm going to click up here and drag. Click the anchor click at a new point click the anchor again click drag and then click the anchor click drag and click the anchor and last one click drag and click the anchor. Actually, we don't do it on the last one. There we go. So now my um, shape, so my path, you can see there's the red line 
it is a closed shape. So I'm happy with that. So I need to go to my selection tool and there we go. So now I can move it to the side or I can just move it back. So it's sitting nice and well there. I might want to adjust the blue because I want to see about the 3D tones that I'm creating. So I might want to make that darker. And there we go. So that's a simple way that you can use the pen tool. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use your textures that you have done on Photoshop to then use the clipping mask tool with Illustrator.